Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality. In a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cheesy! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, 1998 was a great year for the city of Yokohama. Taking advantage of the festive mood in the city, I went back to a top restaurant that has been refusing to send its top chef to my kitchen stadium. The restaurant? Heichindo. It opened in 1887, way back when Chinatown was still called Nanjing Town. Actually, it was this restaurant which proposed to call the area Yokohama Chinatown and build the grand gates that stand at the entrance. The man who is in charge of the largest and oldest restaurant said to me, Iron Chef Chen has made great progress in the past five years. We now consider him a respected rival, and I'm sending one of my top men to beat him. Confidence is an understatement, which is understandable. The man he is talking about is the head cooking coach of the restaurant, and he keeps an eye on all of their branches. We wanted the head chef. We got his right-hand man. How could we not jump? on this alternative offer. Today's challenger, hailing from the top restaurant in Chinatown, head cooking coach of Hei Chindo, Hisao Yaginuma. He joined Hei Chindo at age 22, and after many years of intense training, he was appointed head cooking coach, monitoring all the cooking at all their branches with their head chef, Yaginuma's works add touches of innovation to the Hollywood traditions. His flexibility in using new ingredients is what maintains the restaurant's status. And he aims to take down Iron Chef Chen, a Cantonese versus Sichuan cooking war. So now, Yaginuma, you have stayed low profile for these five years. Come out and show us your vigor and creativity. Yaginuma, take him down. I'll show you our caliber, and you'll see.
このキッチンスタジアムに横浜中華街最古にして最大の店を引っ張り出すことができました中華最高峰の味を守るさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください平鎮堂ヤギ沼久保Oh wow, firecrackers exploding as the challenger we've waited five years for enters the stadium with entourage in tow. h e i c h i n r o s master chef accompanies challenger Yaginuma, his right hand man, who's responsible for training all the restaurant chefs to preserve, protect, and serve their traditional flavors. His skill level extraordinarily high. What will he have in store for us today? Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to be here. Yes. We now feel Chen San has developed into one of our most formidable rivals. Well, yes, I am. And I'm prepared to stick with、uh, my style. Ascending into Kitchen Stadium, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi for a battle the likes of which may never be seen again. The head man at Yokohama's number one Cantonese restaurant against the Sichuan Sage. Chen battling the toughest, again the toughest clan in Chinese cooking in Japan. The nation's waiting to see what this produces. Hei Chin Do to Chin. 2つのチンに合わせ食材もチンのつくものにしてみました最もポピュラーなチンのつく中国野菜それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマはチンゲンサイ If memory serves me right, today's challenger, Yaginuma, is the designated hitman from Heichindo, the oldest and largest restaurant in Chinatown. He travels to their branches with the head chef. He is number two in command and the overseer and head cooking coach. The challenger will fight the son of the god of Sichuan cooking. This is a match you cannot miss. Challenger Yagi Numa out of Yokohama Chinatown's top restaurant clashing head on with Iron Chef Chen. Shanghai Cabbage, the theme. Iron Chef fans have been waiting for this five long years. The Chinese cuisine seen in Japan may never be the same again, so let's get it on! All right, opening gong, and the Iron Chef. Will be the first up to the ingredient stand for Shanghai Cabbage. Under the gun today is Chen taking on the challenge of one of the country's most prominent Chinese restaurants, their top man in the person of Yagi Numa. Chen will have to be clicking on all cylinders today for what promises to be an exciting affair for these next 60 minutes. And Hatori? Yeah. Shanghai Cabbage, a very popular ingredient in Chinese cuisine. No doubt about that. It's such a nice, light tasting vegetable with a really nice texture. And Yagi Numa, a quick taste test there. Yeah. Checking out the flavor, the quality. Yeah, this can be used boiled, stewed, stir fried, pickled, all kinds of salads, yeah. Okay, yes, go ahead, Ota. I just spoke with Iron Chef Chen about today's battle, and the first thing he said was, Boy, am I nervous right now. How did I get pitted against these guys? Give me a break. He's looking very stressed. Yes, the weight of the name itself, Hei Chin Ro, adding more than the usual pressure. And now let's introduce our guests for this grand battle. We've got two worthy guests. First, Japan Democratic Party Secretary General Yukio Hatoyama. Hello, everyone. And the Mrs. Miyuki Hatoyama. Hello, pleasure nice, to, be、nice、here. to be here. Mrs. Hatoyama, we've heard a lot about your fine cooking skills. Well, I just love to cook. I love to cook great food that can be prepared quickly. That's my motto. <laughs> Sounds good. And you cover all that in your new book, Home Cooking Hatoyama Style, right now in the bookstores? Yes. That's right, yes.、Mm -hmm. It's a good read. Thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> we'll expect some expert commentary from you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's expecting a lot. <laughs> good to have you. I'm thrilled to be here. And as always, Dr. Yukio Hatori. Always a pleasure. 
Akiyama-san, you know the restaurant Heichin Ro? Uh, yes, I've been to Yokohama many times. And? Oh, great food they serve there. All right, and that's where our challenger's from. In fact, challenger Yagi Numa has the title of head cooking coach for the restaurant. He's put together a winning team, too. Up in the royal box are the head chefs of the 11 Heichin Ro branches around the country. And right there, the restaurant's grand chef and chairman, Xie Hua Xian. All right, let's... Fukui-san? Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, commenting on this battle today, Heichin Ro's grand chef says, when this show first aired, we didn't feel that Chen had the caliber that would motivate us to fight him. Mm. But now, after five years, he has developed into a major rival and a formidable opponent who must be challenged. Hmm, I, uh, that's half a compliment, half a slap down. He was looked down upon. Yeah, chen san is really the challenger today, don't I you guess think? so, yes. Yeah. You got that right. I always consider myself a challenger. Yeah, the restaurant has now recognized Chen San's caliber. Yes, he was saying that. Yeah, yeah you certainly didn't mince words, though. No, delivered coolly, too. And now Chen has sort of sharpened the root sections of the cabbage and has put them on boil. Fukui-san. Take it, Ota. Yeah, asked to give the viewers some pointers on cooking Shanghai cabbage, Iron Chef Chen said first you should lightly boil it in a mixture of hot water, salt, and oil, which hey, maximizes the color, aroma, and texture. Hmm, didn't know that, Doc. Yeah, it makes it even greener. Yes, it's the strong green color, one of the elements you'd want to make use of with Shanghai cabbage. Kusan? Right for the presentation. Yes. I'm on the challenger side now, and in this bowl he has eggs and extra coarse flour. Okay, that's what he's working on there. Okay, so this means... A wonton skin? Yeah, right. Yeah, that'd be my guess, too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I also got some tips on cooking this vegetable from the challenger who said you should separate the stems and the leaves before boiling to get the best results. Uh, just lightly boil the leaves and the stems you boil longer to tenderize them. Uh -huh. okay, okay, so that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. The right. challenger is representing Cantonese cuisine. Right. And on the other hand, Iron Chef is, of course, Szechuan style. Right. Now, for the Iron Chef, the spicy chili is the key to most of his mm -hmm. ingredients, right? Yes. And the challenger, his will be more subtle compared to the Iron Chef's, much more like the Kyoto style of Japanese cuisine. Okay, and now what kind of Chinese cuisine or dishes do the Hatayamas enjoy at home? Well, many stir-fried items, dishes using a lot of tofu. Ah. And I use bean paste a lot. I love fermented beans. fukui mm -hmm. Yes, we go for Szechuan style. Yes, uh-huh. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, the ingredients in the bowl the Iron Chef just placed in the steamer are Chinese soup stock, long onions, Chinese ham, and boiled Shanghai cabbage. Okay. Uh, no, this should be a soup. Think so? I think so, yeah. And if we can look at the challenger here, okay. he's got a huge shellfish. Oh, uh, yeah, look, it is oh, a shellfish. I've never seen one quite this big before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, huge, it's isn't it? We only have big. four tasters, plus the chairman, that makes five. Ooh, this one must be from Hokkaido. Mm, I think you're right. Yeah, judging by the size. Mm -hmm. Okay, and hey, the challenger's also got fish as well. Bass. Now, 15 minutes already gone in the battle. This is a sea bass. Okay, sea bass. Again, the challenger from the top restaurant in Yokohama's Chinatown, Heichin Ro. His title, head cooking coach, which means, for example, when they have a new menu, he goes around to all the branches to teach the recipes to the other chefs, so mm. he's an important guy. That's impressive. If in government, he'd probably be the chief cabinet secretary. Well, that sounds right. And you two know how key that job is. Well, speaking of Japanese politics, the chief cabinet secretary seems to be more active than the huh? prime minister himself. You can say that on the air? <laughs> uh, we'll edit that out if you want. Well, I'll think about okay, it. Okay, some blunt political commentary <laughs> from our guests. Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, I asked the Iron Chef which style of cooking is better suited for this particular vegetable, okay. and he said it goes well with either style. It's a matter of personal preference, but I, of course, like Szechuan better. And to the same question, the challenger said this is a huge advantage for Cantonese cooking. Shanghai cabbage is used often in Cantonese, and if the Iron Chef said that he thinks it matches well with both, well, ha ha, he's just trying to hide his nervousness. <laughs> oh. Wow, a provocateur. Well, we'll answer that one at the end of this battle. Wow, look at that. What's uh, They're using the ice cream maker. Ice cream on the challenger side. Yeah, yeah, it's moving. Yes. The green item we were looking at? Go ahead. Yeah, in the challenger's ice cream machine, he has a mix of egg yolks, Chinese sugar, and Shanghai cabbage, along with the usual milk and fresh cream. The cabbage was, of course, boiled before being blended in with the other ingredients mm. and poured into the ice cream maker. Shanghai cabbage ice cream on the way. <laughs> believe it. And now this is... Uh, carrots, I believe. And he's tossed some uh, yeah. crab meat. Yeah, crab okay, crab meat goes in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is one Chinese dish that looks similar to this. With crab and carrots. Okay, yes, Ota. I 
asked the Grand Chef in the Royal Box to analyze the Iron Chef's cooking today, and he mm -hmm. said with Shanghai cabbage, it's difficult to use hot and spicy sauces, Chen's favorite touch. But somehow, knowing him, he'll come up with items using chili sauce and hot spicy fried rice and make it work. Okay, he's all eyes on the Iron Chef, and he says hot and spicy sauces do not go down well with this vegetable. Well, that's what he says. Okay. But, okay, if we look at the challenger here, all right. it was wonton after all. And also, I noticed him laying a cabbage leaf on the skin before rolling other ingredients there as well. He did. Okay, yes, Ota. Yes, this is a perfect time to fill you in on those ingredients. Prawns, king crab, ginger, salt, cornstarch, minced Shanghai cabbage, mm. and also Shanghai cabbage stir-fried in sesame seed oil. Okay, and now a slow-mo replay. Right, Doc? He first laid a cabbage leaf on top of the skin and then added the other oh, ingredients. Oh, so pretty, isn't Creative it? Creative approach there. But those skins aren't really sticking together. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. mm. Yes, Ota. Yes, commenting on those wontons, the challenger says with confidence that the dish allows you to enjoy the aroma of the leaves and the texture of the stems accentuated by the wonton skins. Okay, well, it does look good. 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes gone, and hearing that, the Hei Chin Ro entourage unleashes some roars. Thankfully, no firecrackers here at the halfway mark. Kuisan? Yes. Yeah, commenting on these wontons, the challenger says with confidence that the dish allows you to enjoy the aroma of the leaves and the texture of the stems accentuated by the wonton skins. All right, well, it does look good. 30 minutes. Now 30 minutes gone, and hearing that, the Hei Chin Ro entourage unleashes some roars. Thankfully, no firecrackers here at the halfway mark. Kuisan. What do you have? When the Iron Chef heard the comments about hot and spicy seasoning not matching well with Shanghai cabbage, he retorted, that's prejudice. I know what I'm doing, and I'll give you some perfect Szechuan-style examples today that I am proud of. All right, fired up as ever. <laughs> hot rivalry, I see. Just as hot as his cooking, and Chen more focused than we've seen him before, engaged in a high-stakes battle for supremacy in Chinese cuisine. Okay, the challenger is now using, mm, what is it, yeah. shiitake mushrooms? Uh -huh. I'm starting to smell the stewed items here as well. This looks really, really good. Oh, it really does. Mm -hmm. And this now, this is a clear broth soup? I think this is shanton soup, uh, hmm. top soup broth. It's Cantonese cooking using this type of a broth. Shanton Kuisan. broth, yes. Yeah, the ingredients added to the challenger shanton soup are garlic, shiitake mushrooms, and fried bamboo shoots. Wow. Mm. So the ones with the stronger color are the fried bamboo shoots oh, then. Oh, I see. See. see, frying gives them a different texture, mm. and stewing it further makes them really great. And at the Fantastic. end, he'll add Shanghai cabbage, my guess. Yeah, yeah. right. Yes. I was with the Iron Chef when the Challenger's supporters suddenly started cheering at 30 minutes right. past, and he said, I fought a lot of battles, and you know, this is the kind that makes me really tense. But I've also survived many of these battles, and I'm not ready to give up to anyone. No way. And he's bathed in sweat. Oh, look at this. Yes. Ice cream. ice cream. Ice cream. He's trying yeah. to pull it out. <laughs> Shanghai cabbage ice cream. No idea what it tastes Kuzan? like. Kuzan? The challenger it. says the ice cream turned out perfect. Back to you. Okay, that's what they say. And what here? Why well, they're frying, frying this. Just... Challenger <laughs> Yaginuma now frying the wontons. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting this. It's really good. Yeah, and the shape won't change either. You'll like this? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, the Iron Chef's doing something. Yes, Chen is now. Oh, look at that. Getting his cabbage lined up, and now he's moving off to the side with that one. I wonder what the plan is here with this. Abalone. Maybe. He's got it all arranged to his liking here. For whatever else he'll add to it remains to be seen. I guess he'll want the tasters to enjoy them as they are here. And this is finished then? Well, yeah, well, actually not. No, he'll be pouring a sauce or something else on top. Uh, when I said uh, uh -huh. as they are, and I was this referring is to the, the one with the crab meat here. This one here? Yeah, that and carrots. Okay. And he's being really mm -hmm. careful with his yes, presentation. The carrots add a really nice accent to this presentation. So it'll be the sauce for this mm -hmm. one. Right. And now if we can look at the challenger, I thought he'd be steaming this, but he's frying this as well. Yes, there it goes. I didn't even think about this. So this means hang on, he could be stewing this, not just frying, actually. Okay. Well, he could be steaming after he fries, maybe. That's too. true. There is a technique like this, frying something to harden the surface and then stew it, so... Mm. Huh. Fukuisan? Yes, Ota. The Challenger Yaginuma is now juggling three walks all at once, and though it's difficult for most to work on three different things at one time, he says, I'm used to teaching several chefs at once, so this is almost second nature to me. All right, well, that explains why he looks so smooth moving about his side of the kitchen. At the major Chinese restaurants, they have different chefs specializing in different types of cooking. Right. So 
it's actually rare to see a guy who can perfect mm -hmm. everything this all by himself. It's true. Uh -huh. And they have chefs for stir frying, for deep frying, so on and so forth. So in that sense, this challenger is like an almighty being. A high-end utility man. Mm -hmm. That's why he's the cooking coach. Right. He's like me, teaching people. Oh, the educator now. <laughs> what was that silence? <laughs> you can't yeah, what do you mean? You, you don't think I'm a teacher? Come on. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, in this particular walk, the challenger has a combination of ginger, scallions, garlic, vinegar, and broth. Okay. okay my guess is he'll put fish into this then. You think? Fish? I think he'll probably oh. stew the fish. The sea bass that he fried. Yeah, oh. right. Oh, or pour it on top. Well, right. Yeah, yeah see? Once yeah. again, Doc, you got it. You I told it. you, I called it from the chair. Okay. Bullseye. <laughs> and now? Oh, he put that one in too. Oh, that one as well. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought that this wouldn't match well with this dish. But... Oh, but it looks great. Definitely all the ingredients in there. Yeah, it looks <laughs> wonderful. Go ahead. Yeah, I told the Iron Chef about the challenger's use of three different walks at one time, and he said, wow, no kidding, he's really good. But I'm not going to copy him. I'm staying on my course, preparing my food my way with great care meticulous. That's my style. Three fires at a time, something similar to what you guys do in politics, except uh, you're trying to put the fires out, right? Not keep them going. <laughs> That's really hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the Iron Chef here oh. has added something to the greens. Oh, uh, right, mixed something Yeah, it looks there. like calamari to me. And the greens, of course, Shanghai cabbage. Right. Okay, and now he's preparing a few other items. On replay, it looks like prawns, is that it? Mm. Oh, scallops, I'm not prawns. Sure. What is that? Okay, mm. we'll wait and find out here. These are prawns and scallops. Okay, both. Mm. Oh, both, okay. So scallops, both of them are prawns, added. and minced Shanghai cabbage. And Fukuzan? Yes. When I told Iron Chef Chen that he seems to be working more frantically than usual, he said, yeah, I know, I'm really perspiring, but I don't want to lose this one today. Everything has to be perfect. Mm. Okay, yes, he's been sweating profusely since the halfway point of this oh, one. Well, he put it all in. What's that? Look at that. He's putting it all in. Well, it's fitting in the pan perfectly. He had them on a plate a minute ago. Right, right. Oh. Fukuzan, yeah. take it. Frying up in this wok, Surrounded by the Shanghai cabbage, the Iron Chef has a mix of grated carrots, lard, crab meat, and sesame seed oil. Oh, mm. That's how you do that. It oh, does so look mm, nice right there. So oh, pretty. And for Guisan, he just added Shanghai crab eggs to that. Okay, crab eggs that's too right. in there. Okay, he used the greasy part of the crab eggs too, I noticed. Wow, another interesting method here. Had these on a plate at the ready to go, right. it looks like, and mm. he just dropped them into the pan. Yeah, and he slid them onto the pan, keeping that pattern. How do you do that? He probably put the pan upside down onto the plate and then flipped the whole thing over. For real? Is that right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Could be a little risky. Uh, you think? Okay, how do you do that? We'll find out. Get the cabbage wheel in perfect formation in the wok. The challenger has started finishing up some of his dishes here, it looks like. Yes, go ahead, Ota. About, about this dish, the challenger has a sprig of fried garlic on top of Shanghai cabbage, which was stir-fried in red chili, scallions, salt, Chinese rice wine, and cornstarch. Next to that is a bit of shellfish. All right, got it there. And slowly, challenger Yagi Numa's dishes starting to take shape here. Oh, boy, this looks really good. Mm, it looks so delicious. And this is from challenger Yagi Numa. You know, the Iron Chef often makes this kind of dish. Fukuzan? <laughs> yes. The challenger explained this dish to me, saying, I stewed it until the cabbage completely absorbed the flavor of the fish. It's a popular combination in Chinese cuisine. Well, I'll tell you, it's another one that looks very good. <laughs> That's all we've been saying. <laughs> Fukuzan? Yes, Ota. The Iron Chef finishing up one of his elaborate dishes says he's being elaborate today because when you go up against Hei Chin Ro, visual appeal is just as important. I want this beautiful green cabbage to be a feast for the eyes as well. Well, that makes a lot of sense today. And it looks really good, too. Fukuzan? Yes. The Iron Chef finishing up one of his elaborate dishes says he's being elaborate today because when you're up against Hei Chin Ro, visual appeal is just as important. I want this beautiful green cabbage to be a feast for the eyes as well. Makes a lot of sense today. And yeah, it looks really good too. And Fukuzan? Go ahead, big fella. When I asked Chef Chen if this dish was true Szechuan, he said, of course it is. Visual appeal is not exclusive to Cantonese. I want the viewers to know that Szechuan is also visually appealing. Well, absolutely. And the Iron Chef bringing out everything he's got in his arsenal, battling against the Cantonese. Cantonese cuisine king. As noted earlier, he's really fired up for this Squeeze one. On. Oh, yes. Some mushrooms. Sorry to interrupt. In the bowl, the Iron Chef has broth, scallions, Chinese ham, boiled Shanghai cabbage, sugar, salt, sesame seed oil, and cornstarch. Okay, he didn't have the kinegasa mushrooms in there. What is that, chicken? Okay, now swinging over to the challenger Looks side. Good, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> My gosh, looks it may not delicious. sound good, but actually, you know, fish innards in a stew like this are perfect. Mm. And this man today, the challenger, is quick but under control, very efficient in the kitchen. And now back with the Iron Chef. Ooh, wow. Oh, 
Look at that. Uh, one beautiful. for each taster. Yeah, one mm. per person. But what are Fukuzan, chicken legs? Yes. To answer Hattori-san's question a second ago, that was chicken leg meat. Okay, chicken also in this one, but now what's the reason for this container here? To keep it warm and maybe enjoy it shabu-shabu style? No, no, that wouldn't be it. W would it be a soup then? That sounds more likely, mm, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'd light it up and warm it that way. All right, and now Yagi Numa's going with, uh, oh, well, fried oh, rice. Fried rice. Okay. Look at that. My kind of guy. In and out of the kitchen, first with fried rice we'll be here. putting the stir-fried cabbage into it later, I right, guess. Right, no hmm? doubt. So that's the game Now plan. something mm -hmm. else here, maybe will he throw into this one? I wonder, maybe Just, miso he's gonna have or to. something like that. Mm. Okay, all right, again mm -hmm. now. Just look at him move. Efficiency in action, no wasted movement. Mm. And now 10 minutes left in the battle and the Heichin Row entourage <laughs> letting it loose from up in the royal box. <laughs> a standing O cool. oh for their man. <laughs> and leading the cheers, the grand chef, the grand chef too, looking mighty pleased up there. Oh, hey. he added something there. Exo huh. sauce? Okay, this oh, from the challenger sure. side now. Mm -hmm. It has been added to the rice in the wok. Fukuzan? Yes. This is a sesame and red chili sauce. Okay, Malajan. This is a hot bean paste, like a red chili paste. Okay, and, and here, what has he added? He just added prawn paste. Prawn paste? Okay, it's salt cured minced prawns, oh. actually, yeah. Ooh, sounds like a perfect match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should go well. Hot chili sauce and prawn paste with the rice. Fukuzan? Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, on the Iron Chef side, he's stir frying up some abalone liver. Okay, working on an abalone liver sauce. Mm. Mm. Now, both chefs, all their experience coming to the fore. Now, the challenger's dishes are starting to look Szechuan in style. You yes. notice that? I was yes. say that. he's doing that to counter Chen's Yeah, using dishes. hot chili Now, sauce even and more action things. here on the challenger side. That's the Shanghai cabbage, I believe, going in for the fried rice. Yeah, the fried rice looks wonderful, doesn't mm, it? It looks delicious. He used the stems of the cabbage here. Yeah, big ones, too. And a taste test. No sign yet of a reaction. Take it, big fella. A reminder of the ingredients in the fried rice. Rice, of course, egg scallions, sesame and red chili sauce, prawn paste, and Shanghai cabbage stir-fried in sesame seed oil. All right, got it, thanks. Is Chen San not going to make fried rice this time, right? And go. I asked the Iron Chef whether he was going to make fried rice or not, and he said, no, instead I'm making cabbage rice. And when huh? I tried to find out what that was, he just clammed up and wouldn't disclose any more secrets. Cabbage uh -huh. rice. Cabbage okay. rice, what's that? Mm. Well, that's mixed boiling rice and cooked cabbage. Cabbage leaves. Oh, mixing them as you eat them. What about this here? This, does that have something to do with that? I think so, with abalone. This is for the rice. Okay, well, looks okay to me. Yeah. I think this one is going to be the hot and spicy dish, though. All right, we shall see. Oh, look, the rice is coming. Yes, the rice is ready to go, just waiting. Okay, right he's going to be mixing that with... Which one? What do you think? Hmm. That's right. the question right now. Long. Five minutes left, crunch time now. Both men trying to do what they must to finish off their dishes. Fukuizan! Yes! In one of his walks, the Iron Chef has Shanghai cabbage, abalone, green chili, hot bean paste, abalone liver, sugar, and salt. All right, on his A game, hot bean paste is in there. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> this one probably won't be matched with rice, so we don't know yet where the rice will end up with, which dish it'll be paired with. Yes, go ahead. I thought I saw a hint of Szechuan in the Challenger's fried rice, but he says, no, this is not hot at all. This is a Heichindo original recipe using the salt-cured shrimp paste instead. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, and now wontons. here are these. Yes, the wontons to be served as is. And fried Shanghai cabbage sprinkled on top of the fried rice, a double dose Three emphasizing his use of the theme ingredient. Three minutes left now in the Shanghai cabbage battle. Chen oh. fighting the challenger from the top restaurant in Yokohama's Chinatown. Oh, Look. here we go. Here we yes. go. Look at that. Just rice putting them together now. added here. He didn't stir fry them. No, though. not at all. So a non-stir fried mm. rice. Oh. It's stir fried wow. cabbage mixed with boiled rice. Let's call it that. This actually looks like home cooking. Okay, hmm. Go ahead. The ingredients in this bowl include Shanghai cabbage, which was sautéed in salt seasoning and sesame oil. He says mm. cabbage rice is not particularly Szechuan, but it is a kind of home cooking that you see in the countryside in China. Back to That's you. That's what I thought. Yes, yeah. you got that one right, Doc. Okay, home cooking by the one Iron Chef. And go. one minute to go now, the final 60 mm. seconds. Looking in now on the challenger's fried rice, and once more his backers up in the royal box on their feet, cheering him to carry him through to the end. In their eyes, he's been the man today. How will he fare against Chen? The Iron Chef's been fighting an uphill battle with the challenger's spirit, he said. And now in this battle, 30 seconds left. 
We'd been trying to get this battle a long time, a wait of five years for the folks at Heichin Row to say yes to a battle here in Kitchen Stadium. The wait's been worth it. It's been a humdinger of a battle. Looks like the challenger's dishes are in on time, complete. They're winding down the Iron Chef. A taste test there. His apron soaked with sweat. The final seconds ticking down. Both chefs have gone the distance. That's it. The cooking's done. The Shanghai Cabbage Battle is over. You looked confident and in control throughout the hour. How about it? Well, actually, I was rather pressed on time. Really? Yes. I didn't see that at all. Really? Yes. And how are your dishes? They turned out as I had planned. Really? I'm happy. And yes. that can only mean one thing. I'll win. Thank you. It was so difficult, Shanghai Cabbage. That hard? Yeah, difficult. Controlling the heat. They turn out very different easily. I was calculating all the time. And your calculations were correct? I tried to be careful. The results are to be heard. Yeah. Huh? The challenger's full huh? of confidence in winning. Good for him. He's so energetic, my kind of man. How about you? I'm always full of energy. And that I means? did my best. Which huh? means? I don't know. <laughs> challenger Yaginuma is offering five dishes. First, fried wonton with Shanghai cabbage. By double wrapping the ingredients with wonton skin plus Shanghai cabbage, he presents an ideal way of enjoying the flavor of the leaves and texture of the stems. Tasters will dip the wonton into a soup. Second, stir-fried Shanghai cabbage with a trace of oyster sauce. The shellfish is a garnish to this dish, which uses the stems of the cabbage, flavor of which is reinforced by garlic. Sea bass and Shanghai cabbage stew, a classic Cantonese approach to fry the fish before stewing. By frying it first, it harmonizes perfectly with the texture of Shanghai cabbage. The soy sauce base broth has penetrated into all the ingredients in this masterpiece. Fourth is Shanghai cabbage fried rice. The salt cured shrimp paste prepares a platform to enhance the natural flavor of the cabbage stems and the crispy texture of the fried leaves. Last is Shanghai cabbage ice cream. Green taste? Not at all. A soothing flavor expands in the taster's mouth, opening one's eyes to a new world of vegetables. The Iron Chef also has five dishes. First, Shanghai cabbage hors d'oeuvre, three items. Scallops and prawns sauteed in Shanghai cabbage puree with a nice creamy texture. The jellyfish of a contrasting texture served in a glass. And the third item in which prawns and Chinese pickles are blended with Shanghai cabbage. Second, Shanghai cabbage stew. He put more into the visual appeal of this dish than he usually does. The Shanghai cabbage is presented like a daisy wheel and its flavor is heightened by the aroma of Shanghai crab meat. Third, stir-fried abalone and Shanghai cabbage. Looks simple, but truly the work of a top pro. He steamed the abalone with grated daikon radish to soften it before stir-frying. Fourth is Shanghai cabbage balls, a creative dish demonstrating the depth of his experience as an iron chef. Ground pork and shrimp come together, mediated by Shanghai cabbage in a meatball-like fashion. They're enjoyed by letting them swim and soak for a while in a Shanghai cabbage soup. The sesame and red chili sauce, which accompanies, is nothing but perfect. Last is Shanghai cabbage rice. To counter the challenger's fried rice, Chen simply mixed fried cabbage leaves with boiled rice. Today's challenger, Hisao Yaginumo, the head cooking coach of Yokohama Chinatown's oldest, largest, most prestigious restaurant, Heichin Ro. And bringing an attitude, they deem Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi now worthy of a contest with their man. For this Chinese summit battle, Chairman Kaga unveils a standard ingredient in Chinese cuisine, Shanghai cabbage. The challenger calmly executes his plan of five dishes to precision. The Iron Chef, viewing himself as the underdog, fights fire with five. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, food writer Miyuki Hatoyama, Japan Democratic Party Secretary General Yukio Hatoyama, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of challenger Yaginuma. At restaurants, Shanghai cabbage is a garnish and can't really be at the center of a main dish. But today I had to use it as the main ingredient. It was hard. First, please try the soup only, then dip the wonton in it. 
Yes, this is a first for me. The flavor is really very, very nice and gentle, just as Hattori-san mentioned during the battle, yes. This is different from normal wonton. It emphasizes the flavor of Shanghai cabbage. There are some minced ones too inside, right? Yes, exactly. I'm enjoying that as I'm trying this. Very good. Well, for this I used a more classic Cantonese technique for stir-frying uh, the Shanghai cabbage. The Shanghai cabbage and the garlic are working hard together, hand in hand. And it is very pretty. Mm, really. The presentation is an important element in dining. I really think that's true. I thought you only had one sauce, but there's actually two, another with a stronger garlic flavor. This man can really fine-tune the flavor he wants to present. That's such a skill. And now here it comes, the stew with the sea bass. Now you probably noticed, as I'm serving, some smoke rose from the pot. It's a little chart at the bottom, which I wanted you to enjoy with, uh, with this dish. Shanghai cabbage is the star on this stage. Preparing the cabbage lightly, of course, is always nice, but like this one, it's also nice to have it absorb all kinds of flavors. I believe he wanted us to enjoy the soup absorbed in the vegetable, and he has succeeded in that. On the outer side, I have fried Shanghai cabbage, and inside stir-fried, so two times together. This fried rice is so nice. The saltiness Thank is you. just right, the flavor is perfect. I think this fried Shanghai cabbage, as Kano-san mentioned, is key to this dish. And I like the subtle bitterness left in the dish. Among all the dishes, the stew? That was awesome. I mean, Japanese cuisine can't create that flavor. It's a flavor unique to Chinese cuisine. Hey, Jinro, now I know why they're so special. I'm motivated to go there and try their food. All right, now Iron Chef Chen's dishes are ready to be served. Mm, difficult, uh, especially when time is an important element. I have here a puree and another one with a crispy texture and a stir-fried item. The, the leaves turn bright green when you stir-fry them. And the texture is very nice too, uh, I feel. These crispy cabbage leaves, so good. Well, thank you. They're all good. I don't have enough vocabulary to correctly express the excellence of these dishes. This one is so intricate. I started with the item that looked best to me. These three are all different in flavor and, how do you say, they're fun to eat with different flavors, I think. With obvious pride in the visual presentation of a stewed item, Chen displays it to the tasters before serving. I prepared the Shanghai cabbage as soft as I could while maintaining the color. Do you have crab eggs in this? Yes, ma'am. Crab eggs, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I also added a bit of Shanghai crab, too. The crab brain adds so much. You know, people say there are three elements in fine dining. Color, shape, and taste. This is perfect in all aspects. This makes me think that Chinese emperors were eating something like this every day, you know? That's how I feel. This is something really out of this world, in my opinion. And now Chen alters his strategy here and serves the cabbage rice, supposed to be the last dish, together with the cabbage balls. The atmosphere is so nice. I like this. And I love this subtle soup, too. It's great. Someone said the sauce is too hot, but for me, this is just right. And it is nice with the rice and also with the, the milk balls. Yes. That goes well with this, too. A great sauce. And I want the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> now with this dish, I'm in awe at how you suppress the water content to this level. That's because it was fried. Well, you see, in his dishes, the other ingredients are being modest, trying to give way to the Shanghai cabbage. Everything was great. Really, thank you very much. It's going to be a real close one today, for sure. We've been shanghai Cabbage never tasted this good. Who'll take it? Heijin
On the line in today's battle, the reputation of the oldest restaurant in Yokohama's Chinatown with Shanghai cabbage, the most popular ingredient in Chinese cooking. Challenger Yaginuma, Cantonese creations, elevating the everyday ingredient to artistic heights. Iron Chef Chen, not the favorite on his home turf, going all out with his Szechuan chops. Was it enough? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef. Chen has done it, winning this Chinese cuisine summit against the top chef from the top restaurant in Yokohama's Chinatown. Dare we say, an upset? If ever an underdog, today was the day for Chen, but it's his reputation which is still in place after this battle. All right, let's check the scores. Kano, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. Yukio Hatayama, 1918 Iron Chef. Miyuki Hatayama, 1914 Iron Chef. Hosoki, 1916, the Iron Chef, a sweep. The Iron Chef sweeping Hei Chin Ro, the biggest name in Chinese cuisine in Japan. They are right. He's worthy enough now and then some. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Both of them are wonderful. I voted Chen San for his extra sensitive approach to enhancing the natural flavor of these vegetables. He presented new ideas while controlling the water content of the cabbage in his dishes. His dishes may not have been pure Chinese, but I say they were beyond ordinary Chinese. That was the difference. Chen San did a great job today, but Hei Chin Do is not finished yet. We'll be back. Yeah.